We just got a brand new Fall Guys update with a lunar event, new skins, a new soul schedule and brand new free cosmetics. So let's get right into it. To start off, the, this information was by Fall Guys leaks and infos and Fall Guys update infos. Let's start off with the brand new event. So during the three weeks of this event, we will have bonus XP for the fame pass. So we will have three bonus challenges per day. One where you have to qualify in six rounds and two following that will be picked at random. So it will be changing constantly what that is. And now onto the rewards that this will give you. Apart from all of the fame that this will give you, you will also be unlocking some cool cosmetics, not a huge amount of cosmetics we all need are getting a lunar dragon nickname then we have 3000 kudos a good fortune faceplate and this is actually pretty cool to get a faceplate and then a huntering emote so as you can see in the image this is the rewards it's not a skin sadly but we still got some cool stuff and you get also fame for the fame pass so that is really nice apart from all of this we also got some other changes including a new show schedule so let's start with this so quick solos will be available from february 7th to february 27th and it will give you one crown and as you know it's just solos the same solos as we know but it is four rounds instead of the six or five rounds we have right now so it's a quick way to do solos and mediatonic has been trying this method of solos out for a while now so it was not at it in a while now but they are reintroducing it so it looks like they want to try this again because with it normal solos will be out and they will be adding only quick solos for this partial time and then solos will be back in February 27th so if you like normal solos don't worry it's not going anywhere it will be back then we also have in the LTM section pixel palooza returning that it will give you 20 shards from February 8th to February 15th then we have survival of the fistest returning and this one gives you two crowns so if you're grinding crowns this is perfect for you from February 15th to February 23rd second then we have jumping around that will give you one crown from february 22nd to february 29th and then finally we have finals marathon that will give you as well one crown and this is one of my favorite shows and it will be back from february 29th to march 7th so other changes we have are with casual rumble so the timer for the finals has been reduced from one minute to 45 seconds so it will go much quicker now we also have jump showdown removed from casual rumble this makes a lot of sense because with people grabbing and everything it's not that casual you just want like something to survive just a quick time and get your 10 shards and practice for the people that play casual rumble or just want to play casually and not sweat out anything so this makes a lot of sense and now we have the slow version of roll off now always enable, enabled in casual rumble so you won't have the difficult variations at all you just will have the slow one so this looks like a pretty cool change uh, and as we can see the mediatonic team is really trying to make casual rumble casual and really beginner friendly for the people that aren't so good you can always see the people in squads like having a hard time with full tilt in some of these so a basic place to learn the controls and everything and then you can go to solos after you learn and this might also be telling us that mobile is coming soon because if mobile comes there will be a lot of new players coming and they will need a game mode to learn or ranked mode is coming because if you have a ranked mode you might need a casual mode or a practice mode as well so this is really exciting good news and we also have more information double fame has been delayed a bit since we already have some challenges and everything with fame they have delayed the double fame and it will be available from february 20th 
to March 5th. So we will still have a lot of days where you can get double fame and complete the fame pass easily. So don't worry about that. And we also have a change to finals marathon that seems to fix the multiple finals showing in the same game. So you won't have a repeat of the same final. Hopefully this fixes it. So this is all the gameplay changes and fame changes we have in the game. Now let's go on to the cosmetics and starting with the PS Plus bundle now that you can get if you have PS4 or PS5 Plus. So and you can get these for free if you just have PS Plus. So you will get the alloy, the racket and the clank skins and some additional cosmetics. And these skins actually look amazing, they were really generous but it's unfortunate for you guys that if you are playing in Nintendo or you're playing NPC, Xbox or whatever, you won't be able to unlock the skins and they actually look pretty nice. Then we will also have some additional cosmetics but these ones are with Showbox. We will have the Lunar New Year bundles, so the lanterns and lights bundle as you can see it's like a dragon for the lunar new year it will be costing 1000 showbox and it will be available from february 10th to february 16th so you don't have that many much days to buy the skin so make sure to get it if you like it and then we will be also getting as well some valentine's day cosmetics so the love at first sight Byte, this is a bundle, it will cost 1000 showbox and it will be available from February 14th to February 16th. And we also have this Valentine's Day bundle that looks pretty awesome as well and it comes with a celebration. And finally we will have a new Howling Happiness bundle so it looks like a cool wolf. We don't know the showbox that this will cost but it looks like it's a cool skin so yeah this is everything for this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one